high end from Dollar Tree. You heard that right. And we've got some vintage hats. I am like really excited about this. Check it out. I am at a storage unit. My dear friend Leslie, who's also the camera girl, said I had full access to this unit to go in and see all of the items that we can get for free to DIY and upcycle. And I'm only going to be picking the items that anybody could find, all right? Oh my goodness. Let's do it. This is exciting and intentional because I only wanted to pick out items that you could probably find in your attic or your basement that we could upcycle and DIY using Dollar Tree finds. This is like an old coat rack that looks like a tree. This is really cool. All right, but I'm really looking for like simple things that we can use, like really easy stuff that we can grab. Okay, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> I'm saying. She was excited for me to take some stuff off her hands. One man's trash is another's treasure. Or woman's. You know what I mean? This is how I know I have ADD because when I go in spaces like this, I just can't make decisions. I'm like, but I want to look at all the cool stuff. My goal was to pick five items and then take those items to the Dollar Tree to see how I could make them great. Like truly high end. I want nothing in this video to be something you wouldn't love. It's really fun to look at like beautiful antiques. I have so much like reverence and respect for old things, especially like, how well made they are. And it wasn't long before we found our first contender. Oh, these are like real pearls. Uh, Listen. <laughs> Pirate's duty. Or just vintage jewelry. I've got a hack for you I bet you've never seen before. We have, okay, this is real leather. Okay, that's awesome. This is actually awesome. I think I'm gonna grab this. And if you can't find real leather, what I like is the Dollar Tree sells a faux leather. I actually have kind of a cool idea for this. All right. Also, I'm just pulling this little pouch out. There's a ton of S hooks in here. You cannot convince me that there aren't a million uses for a great S hook. <gasps> Stop. Are you ready? This is this is her. This is what I wanted. A careful pivot. 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 This is a mini kitchen island on wheels. Perfect for small spaces. You could totally DIY this if you wanted to or find something very similar at a thrift store to make for your kitchen. Any small kitchen can make this work. You don't have to have this particular storage unit. Like literally, my brain is on fire with all the stuff that you can do really easily. The fifth item we forgot to film were these glass vases as well as this glass water bottle. And then the next day I headed to the Dollar Tree. You won't believe what I found. Welcome to Dollar Tree. We have all of our thrifted items from the storage unit. And I bet you've got a lot of these at home already. First up, we have some extra glass. I can't wait to show you what I'm gonna do with that. Next up, we have some leather scraps. I'm super excited about these two. An S hook hack you've never seen before. We also have our gorgeous pearls and necklace. And we can't forget that incredible bar cart. Let's go together. We're gonna soup this up, come on. Okay, I am obsessed with the Dollar Tree over the door hooks. My favorite ones are in black. We're gonna make an incredible plant wall and do it for just a few dollars, not kidding. You'll see how the glassware comes into play. All right, so grab some of these over the door hooks and if you bend the actual hook back and forth a few times, the backing will snap off. This is one of my favorite tricks and truly will help transform your house. You wanna make sure to work slowly and carefully because you don't wanna get any cuts on your hands. Wear gloves if you need to. Then you can take an old piece of wood, you could use the back of a ruler, add some E6000 or Dollar Tree super glue to the back of these and set these on top of the wood. I put some stain on this one and secure it with zip ties while it's drying. You'll notice that the metal hooks overhang the wood just by a little bit. That way I can set this on two nails and hang it on the wall once it's dry. I've actually had this up in our house for years. It's never fallen and it's never broken. It's extremely high quality and that's where the glassware comes in. So this is an old glass bottle and I took that Dollar Tree wire and I double layered it. I just kind of twisted it over itself so it would be nice and thick. And then I wrapped this around the top of the glass bottles. When you're at the thrift store or when I was in the storage unit, I was looking for bottles that had unique shapes that were long and beautiful mouths on the jars. So that way it was really easy to twist the wire around and have have it stay. At the top, I made a secondary loop and you can tell we are making little hangers. These are perfect for plants. I'll put a list down below of my favorite plants that just need water. No soil required. Some of my favorites are philodendron and pothos. I split these off of a plant that I already had. 
This turned out so beautifully in my kitchen. I love the elegance of the glass bottles. It gives that apothecary look. It's such a beautiful plant wall. And the entire cost was just $2.50. And speaking of the kitchen, wait till you see this bar cart. But first, these are plant hangers. I absolutely love them. They also have tons of options for different planters. I like to add a little bit of paint to this. It just gives it some texture. Let's head to the floral section because there's something I wanna show you. Yes, it's this one. All right, hold on. <laughs> I'm saying it's right here. All right, this rope is some of my favorite. We're gonna take this rope, including those S hooks. You remember those from the storage unit? We're gonna make an incredible display. This towel bar in the bathroom, I never used. It was actually right over the bathtub, but we hang our towels on the opposite wall. So I took this rope and I just looped it over the top. And then I twisted the two ropes together and at the bottom, I tied on an S hook. Now you could do this for multiple ropes. And guess what we're gonna hang on it? Some favorite hats, especially if you've got pretty ones to display or maybe some favorite vintage finds. I love the macrame hanger too, and I decided to use the rope to attach this as well. You can actually cut this down and then go over it with a hairbrush. And then you just wanna trim it so it's all one length. The entire cost of this was just five bucks. And trust me, you're not limited to hats. You could do this with towels, baseball caps, and even backpacks. I actually finally love this wall. And there was one more thing I had to try in this space. So in case you guys wanna know, <laughs> the backstory, this is what we get up to at 10 p.m. Yeah. It's she 10 p.m. Do you know where your crafters are? Blue berry beret that can you find in a second hand store? She wear a blue berry beret. Right. The kind you find in a where were we? Oh my gosh, these two curtain hacks are gonna blow your mind. Okay, so the first thing we did, maybe we did it as a little late at night, we cut down this leather to create two straps. And then I just put a little crease on it and then I cut it in two directions with fabric shears. And then I took a knob. I actually got this one from the dollar spot at Target. I had it on hand, but you could use any favorite knob that you have. These make completely custom and really high quality curtain tiebacks. Hey, Catherine, where'd you get that cool hat? It's from a storage unit. Yeah. yeah. I actually really like this one. And then I just wrapped the leather around the curtains and oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love the little bee on it. But because we became kind of unhinged at night, I really like how this turned out in the morning too. It's so beautiful, especially with the beautiful leather hats. I absolutely adore this space and it was done for just a couple bucks. Before we get to that bar cart, check out this curtain hack. Remember those incredible necklaces that we found in the storage unit? All right, we're gonna combine them with these shower curtain rings. You get an entire pack for $1.25, just let me know what you think, okay? I actually had a few of these left over from a previous project and I just took some spray paint that I had on hand. I decided to go with this beautiful metallic gold. And then I took a C hook and I put it inside of the wall and after the fact went over it with some metallic gold because I gotta have it blend in. And then I draped the necklaces over this and you can use this as a curtain tie back. I styled the table underneath with some vines that I already had. Isn't this so elegant? It's giving completely custom and high end. And who would have thought I did this for totally free? I mean, really, this is like 25 cents worth of materials. Grab some old necklaces and give it a whirl. I just wanna show you the plates at Dollar Tree this year. They're super cool. I think my favorite one is actually this really pretty navy. I especially like kind of the dotted pattern on these. They also have some really cool mugs. We're gonna get a few of these because they're beautiful. In the Dollar Tree Plus section, these are some of my favorite new finds. They have these gorgeous seven-piece bamboo utensil set. Now, normally, these are $1.25 per item, so this is a super score. I also love this container, and I love this stitch and weft kitchen set. The quality on this is great. I'm saying, right? Isn't that? Th okay, so these are really great. These are two super scores. Of course they have all of the baskets, but my eye is gravitating down here. All right, they have lots of these grommet totes. I really like this navy color. I feel like we're kind of gonna go with a navy scheme here. I'm excited about it. This is pretty too, and I think it would look nice with some of the ideas that I have, but let's go with this guy. 
I'm also gonna pick up some magic erasers from the Dollar Tree. They have the Mr. Clean brand and they also have the off brand. These are really great for cleaning off items that you've had in a storage unit or just have little nicks and scuffs. They are truly lifesavers. I'm gonna link down below for you my favorite rub on transfers. Now I've been using these all over my house and I've been obsessed. This is so much easier, even the decoupage. I grabbed some handles that I had on hand and we are going to tackle this bar cart. Magic erasers to the rescue. I really love how these have cutting board sides. How cool, right? Once it was nice and clean, we cut down these floral transfers. Now what's really great about this is you can set them over the surface and then all you have to do is rub it on. If you want to, you can go over this with a polyacrylic finish. I thought it would look really pretty to have some of the decals go up the side of the cart. I really love peonies. They're some of my favorite flowers. When I was a kid, we had a peony bush that was next to my house. And I remember little ants used to crawl all over the flowers. And I used to think to myself, if I had to be an ant, I would definitely want to be the kind that got to live on a peony flower because they were so pretty. Also, both my grandmother and my great-grandmother really loved flowers, especially wild flowers. So I remember always getting to enjoy them and their gardens every time I visited. So I think just this particular transfer pack in general made me so happy to put this on the cart. I loved how beautiful and whimsical it made it, and this is so easy to do. And then we decided to change out the knob so it would be a really pretty crystal one. This was totally free because I already had it on hand. We removed the drawer and then in the back installed these drawer poles and that way we would have something to hang towels and pot holders off of. And just remember, that weft set for the kitchen with your pot holders is $1.25 an item. It's $5 for the pack. It is so high quality. I think it's one of my favorite things they currently have in stock. I especially love the navy basket down below. And then I had some more of those S hooks left over. So I knew I had to hang the pot holder off of it as well as these Dollar Tree utensils and towel. This is perfect for a small space in a kitchen. I love how it's on wheels. This was incredibly easy to put together under 20 minutes and for right around $30. Let me know what you think. What do you think? You don't have to have a huge budget or even a lot of talent to make these DIYs come to life. My sweet friend, if nobody has told you today, you are enough. I'll catch you soon.